Hi, my name is Dave Randall and I am the design director of the global team at Black Yak. And I would like to introduce to you something that we are all extremely proud of within the Black Yak community, and that is the Watuzi Down suit. Now this suit, we threw away the rule book when we developed this product. This represents everything that we know about insulation, about chamber construction, about fit, about form and function. But most importantly, this is something that is also allows the user, the end user, the mountaineer, a massive amount of freedom of movement. We've inserted stretch paneling into this product, as well as all of the insulation and the protection that you actually need. So let's go straight to the product here. Um, which you can see, we've got this fully uh, stretchable hood solution here. This is integra integrable with a, a helmet as well, so you can use a helmet or without a helmet. We've got obviously a very, very high front collar here so that you can really hide away from these harsh conditions. Again, you've got adjustment possibilities, you've got hood shaping possibilities, and you've got this very, very long center zipper that extends underneath the crutch and around to the back for when nature calls. If we have a look down here on the front, as you can see, we've got some really, really expressive branding, but you need something like this on this style. The materials are the Cordura materials that we've always used in our collection. Big Black Yak branding here on the arm as well. We want this suit to be visible and we want this suit to represent us. We've got two very, very big mesh pockets on the front, again, supporting our design language and adding a lot of real function for a true mountaineer's needs. Again, a safe story pocket here. We've got the little gusset just to protect you from coming into contact with cold elements like the zipper. We'll have a look here down on the end of the sleeve. You can see here we've got this really nice sleeve construction, it's double layered material. It's feathered on the outside, again, so that you don't get any kind of rubbing or chaffing when you're actually in extreme conditions. Here on the inside of the arm, you can see we've got this kind of little plug system here. I'll explain a little bit more about that in detail as we get inside the suit. And if we move down the suit here, you can see we've got some protection zones. This has actually been integrated so that if you're carrying any kind of gear, the gear on its own won't actually destroy the material. As I've said, this is a strong material, but nevertheless, metal on this could destroy it. So we've taken that element away by adding these protection zones in. Now, if I ask you quickly to step up on the box, What's really important here is we've got this big boot, this mountaineering boot. This is absolutely a must for all high altitude mountaineers. This is the standard boot. And as you can see, we've got a different type of leg construction here. We've actually got the inner part here. This is actually a mechanical insulation. This goes inside the boot and this allows you to keep warm from inside. And then we've got this overlayer here. And as you can see here, this goes over the top edge of the boot, this flange. It's got protection on the inside, and this actually protects any of that nasty spin drift from actually getting inside the boot and making you, making you cold and wet. Now, if you just come down again, please. I'll just turn you around to the side quickly. We've got here um, a long ventilation zipper. As you can see, we've got four zipper sliders. That allows you to open the ventilation up in one or two positions. You can get your hands in there for anything else that you might need that's inside the suit. Also behind here, we've got these massive baffles. Um, we've got our standard tape to stop the baffles from getting caught in the zipper. But more importantly, on the inside of these baffles, we've got this very, very special glued tape built onto the inside. Now this tape is actually to stop the baffle from folding backwards through use, because you don't want it folding in the wrong direction and leaving you unprotected, especially in high wind situations. So these baffles make sure that the actual, uh, these, these tapes make sure the baffles actually lay perfectly in position. If we turn you around quickly on the back, again, massive branding on the back, all of our chamber constructions again as well, just to make sure that you can actually move that heat from one chamber to another through that wonderful box wall construction of ours. Moving on to the back side, you've got this protection material again. When you come into contact with rocks and boulders, you're gonna need something to protect the back of you. Now let's quickly go inside this suit. I'll open it up for you here. Now if you take that off for me, please. Here you can see, what is really special about this and totally and utterly unique is we've got this inside supporting vest. This has been made out of a special airflow material. It's got a good structure so that it actually can support the weight of this suit when the suit is hanging down. As you can see on the inside of the suit as well, we've got these extra elasticated stretch pockets for stuffing things in like batteries or anything else that you actually need quick access to, but you don't want it to get cold or lose power. We've got safety storage pockets here, again, for small items that you, can, you want to get access to, a secure pocket for what you need, and we've also got a secondary pocket here on the side, a third option here on this side as well, and if I turn you around quickly to the back, you've also got this really nice large pocket here on the back, it goes all the way down to here, and this is where you can put in a Camelback. It's fixable by all different versions of Camelbacks or water hydration systems, we've got everything built in here for you. Two little holes so that the actual 
your tube can come out. What's really important here is when you start your mountain attempt at midnight or before, and you wanna have hot water or hot drinks to take with you, this actually functions as heating you up, but also making sure, because it's actually inside the suit, that it also doesn't freeze. So this is fixing two problems with one very good and very clear answer. The tube would come around here, fix nicely into these slots, as you can see, we've reinforced the edges of the zippers as well, just so that they don't break under pressure. But what's really important is that we've got this little detail here. This male connector goes directly to the female connector here. You can see how easy it is. It just locks on. And the whole point of that is, is even in high altitude situations, when the sun comes out, it gets hot up there. So this allows the mountaineer to take the suit down. He can actually, instead of tying a knot in the front of the suit, as is traditionally done, he can actually just simply clip these little connectors together and they actually hold the arms of the suit up so that it doesn't get broken or it doesn't come into contact with rocks and boulders. This is a fantastic solution to a real problem that these guys suffer when they're up high on the mountains. Altogether, we've got everything in this suit that we can pack into it. We're incredibly proud of it. It's an incredible achievement. It's been four years in the making. We're finally ready to release it. We've tested it in winter environments in K2. We've had it in rescue environments many prototypes later. This is the end result. We're extremely proud of it. We look forward to your feedback. Thank you very much.